We last left you guys in Guerrero Negro where we were surrounded by thousands of gray whales. It was truly a once in a lifetime experience and to say that I got a little bit emotional, well yeah, that's fair. Since then, we've driven three and a half hours to the small coastal town of Mulahe, where we are both so excited to kick off our socks and enjoy some of the nearby beaches. Buenos dias muchachos and welcome to Mulahe. This is our first stop in our little, hopefully few day pit stop. Oh my God, in. I thought that guy was carrying puppies, but he's carrying squash. <laughs> <laughs> we have puppy beaver. Um, Bahia de Concepcion. So I think this is the last town where we can really stock up on some food and water. So let's go to the Mercado. And they play salsa music outside, which is fun yet. <laughs> I don't know if I made it clear out there, but the hope is that we stock up enough that we can stay on a beach. Playa Escondido is like a little hidden beach, so maybe we could be there for a few days. And I think that corn ought to do it. Yeah, that'll keep us <laughs> And we don't need those yet. I know, babe, but in case you see a little, little puff ball, you just want to sort them out, I'm going to get a bag. No, babe, we don't need any babe, yet. I'm getting one bag of treats. Babe. I'm getting one bag of treats. There's, no, there's, no, there's not really a discussion around it. You don't need to make a discussion. <laughs> this is today's haul. Just basically a bunch of fruits and vegetables and a few wheat tortillas. We are trying some refried beans. Hopefully they are some carne. <laughs> and this should last us a couple days. By the way, your mustache is curling. Can I just show them? Can you guys see the little... <laughs> After speaking with a lovely local in town, we've decided to come to Puerto Escondido. And it's a little hidden, so all we have is a kilometer marking on the highway, and then we're gonna turn off and hopefully find ourselves a camp spot. Should we go down there? But we could, but this that's not where I wanted to take you today. This looks insane. This road is definitely not for people who get stressed by bumpy roads. I'm just trying to like relax, chill, but you know my boy Eamon, he's got his wetsuit on. He's trying to go snorkeling. He's way out there. 30 minutes later, here comes our little fish. Yeah. First snorkel of the year, baby. Couple rays, couple puffs. I think you're the cutest when you're in your snorkel gear. Visibility was at an all time low. <laughs> I can't get out of this thing. It's a new wetsuit, so it's so tight. We're gonna settle in and call this beautiful beach home for the evening. We will catch you guys in the early morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, buddy. Now, you might have noticed that I was the first one up, which means I'm the one that set that sunrise time lapse. Which means, if it sucks, it's all my fault. Sorry about that, guys. I'm just learning. But if you did enjoy it, give me that thumbs up so I can feel really good this morning. Anyways, I'm going to show you the beautiful scene around me just in case I missed it. It's so beautiful. I haven't even left bed. My buddy's already made me a beautiful soy coffee latte, which is... Excuse me, it was a flat white, sir. Actually, it was a flat white. I don't even like lattes. I like them flat. No froth. <laughs> um, we're just sitting here watching the sunrise on our big TV. That's our TV. And I think we're going to get up to something pretty fun this morning. Something I don't think you have shared with you guys. Got a little workout before the workout even begins. So our friends at Nixie hooked us up with two unbelievable stand-up paddle boards. Um, Nixie is a company based out of California and they actually make one of the lightest inflatable stand-up paddle boards you can buy. They're supposed to go all the way up to 29 PSI or two bars. I got mine at eight right now and I'm completely wiped. What are you at? Just over 0.4. <laughs> Turns out Eamon read the PSI wrong. That was for the pump. And on the stand-up paddleboard, it's 15 to 20, so we're halfway. Almost there. <laughs> but I'm taking a break. <laughs> I've recruited Marina Boy to finish yeah. my job. <laughs> Did you finish? Declaro. Oh, you made that look easy, my love. Yeah, man. 
right. Let's get on the water. Boarding in the Bay of Cortez. Sea of Cortez. Sea of Cortez. Bueno. Now, in case you guys are wondering, like, wow, that was a pretty cool sequence. Like, how do they get all those shots? It's a bit of an explosion. Tech, new packaging, equipment, basically everywhere. But it's worth it for the shot, yeah. We haven't had breakfast yet, so I'm gonna make a protein smoothie. And the trick is, we can't keep all of the soy milk and almond milk in the fridge at all times. But the trick to making it good is we freeze our bananas. Now, if you guys are following along, and you're a good observer, you'll notice that in Mulahe we were supposed to do two things. Stock up on food and stock up on water. Did you guys see us stock up on water? I didn't. No. So, we have to head back into Mulahe to get some potable water. There is a really sweet amigo who comes around with big jugs of non-potable, but we don't have any drinking water. So, back to Mulahe we go. Also, this is a great opportunity for us to explore a new beach because there's lots of little beaches along the way. So, Mulahe is only 15 minutes back and then we'll check out a new spot. So, we kind of did it on purpose. We meant to forget water. <laughs> All I can say about the subs is I'm so happy they're inflatable. Look at these puppies. They take up the entire house. If you can roll past the garbage, we can check this in. A little drive by? A little drive by. Much. Ah, what, what was, was that? that? The famous question what was that? The uh, big Agua place is closed today, but this is a grocery store and way bigger than the last grocery store we went to. I don't know why we went to that one, um, but they do water fill-ups. We gotta hold it. Okay, we realize we've been saying lots of names and you might not know exactly where we are. So we are Central Baja, California Sur. This is where we currently are getting our water in Mulahe. And then just down here, along in there, is called Bahia Conception. We were at one of the first beaches, and now we're gonna try another one called Coyote. Ridiculous boards out of here. <laughs> you just stand there and vlog. <laughs> We're definitely not complaining here, but I will say that the weather here is apparently unseasonably cold. So the cold front, cold front, the cold front that went all the way through the states has definitely made its way to Mexico. It's about 20 degrees Celsius but it's also extremely windy when you're by the water. So I kind of envisioned that by now we'd be full bikini, we could put away our jackets and everything, but I don't think we're quite there yet. But we did find garbanzo beans. Mm, so we're gonna make some tacos for lunch. Buffalo, uh, what do we call them? Buffalo. Cauliflower tacos. Buffalo cauli tacos. Our makeshift cabbage coleslaw, cauliflower de buffalo, fresh tortillas, and that's what the taco's looking like. Good, no? Really good. If you're interested in this taco recipe or some of our other stapled meals we've made, we reveal all our secrets in our new 52 recipe cookbook. If you want to support us, the link will be in the description box. I guarantee you'll love having this in the kitchen. The meals are super easy to make and even easier to clean up. Are you going to tell them about the Topo Chico? Sure. <laughs>
So on the drive-in, Eamon had got us two Topo Chicos. So we drank the Topo Chicos, and as I'm driving, he's like, I have to pee, I have to pee, but I couldn't pull over. So we peed into one of the Topo Chico bottles. And I'm just putting things away and tidying up the house, and I see like a full Topo Chico bottle. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, Eamon got three Topo Chicos, so I put that bottle in the fridge. And I pulled it out and almost opened it, but I realized it was so warm. That could have been a disaster. It was his pee! The okay. other thing that could be a disaster is the sun is about to go behind these mountains, and I am in desperate need of a shower. Like, you guys can see how greasy my hair is. So, we're gonna hook up the, are you zooming in on my greasy hair? We're gonna hook up the solar shower, and I'm gonna have a quick rinse. Um, you know, it's just so I can feel a little clean. Oh, I'm having a shower too. You are? Oh yeah. Okay, let's do it. I'm not sure how much we've showed you of our shower setup, but basically what I realized is our 12 volt pump has this little connection here. So I might actually per like permanently insert that into the wood there. So it's like super easy to set up. Love that idea. Love that idea. I love it. So that's hooked onto the 12 volt. I've got the compressor that I just threw on top of the roof. And then once we're on the roof, I'm just gonna hook up our shower hose to our solar shower. Basically, this is just a black pipe full of cold water that we filled up a few days ago. And as it sits in the sun, essentially it gets hot. So it should be pretty warm. Are you ready, baby? Ah. Is it cold? Yeah. Basically, I'm the on and off switch. I just create pressure, shoot the hose. That's all I'm good for. I was waiting for Beck to help me, but I got a little impatient and I just did it myself. Basically, I just fired up the compressor, created pressure, rinsed, did an old pits and ditch, eh, Nance? Feel amazing after that shower. I was gonna make myself a cup of chai and just have a great afternoon, and then Buddy asked me to wax his shoulders! How much is this gonna hurt? Not that much. Okay. They're pretty long, huh? Yep. I thought, I was like, I kept like putting my hair up because I was like, what is tickling my shoulders? That's my shoulder hair. One, two. Dos cientos? Two hundred? Dos cientos? Uno? Una noche, sí. Una noche? It's more caro, 200 pesos. Gracias, amigo. Gracias, hasta luego. Adios. Hasta luego, hasta mañana. Por qué es more caro, señor? Yeah. We need to get better so mm -hmm. we can. We need to get better so we can bargain a little better. No, no. Mm, okay. <laughs> so that costs us 200 pesos, which is similar to $10. Yeah. Last night was 100, tonight was 200. Like you guys know, we do typically go free 99, but uh, you know, when, when you got the beach right here. We also pay premium for Palapa. Mm -hmm. We have a Palapa. It's not the end of the world. Campsites have very few amenities. They have a pit toilet and a garbage. I think this is the garbage right here. Oh, well that was just too easy, no worries. Also, can I just point out how weird it is? It's dark out. I mean, like there's no sun left here, but there's sun over there and over there. So I guess the sun just drops behind that mountain. It's only like four o'clock, but we feel like we should be hungry and ready for bed. Which we're not. What's that, buddy? I was just saying, don't jump to conclusions. The flavor is definitely there. I know my buddy, he's gonna ask me for like ketchup and hot sauce and everything. Just give it a sec. They don't sell ketchup in Mexico. Mmm, ketchup. It's really good. This is one of my favorite meals. Uh, when it comes to stir fry, Beck usually is in charge, but um, yeah, the kitchen usually takes a hit. <laughs> 
Is it spicy? Mm. Oh, you're right. Mm. The chili? Cayenne. Cayenne. I feel it on my lips. Cayenne. <laughs> it's very good. I love it. Mmm. I'm so glad. Just like that, order in the kitchen has been restored. All thanks to yours truly because him truly is working his tail off. All right, me amigos, another night with that little humming in the background. Yes, our heater is still on. Mexico, when do you Can't get home? Um, Let's put out the bed and go to bed. You tired? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Good night, everybody. Please make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Brush it lid on every night. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. <laughs> Why does it hate me? I didn't listen to you. GoPro, stop recording. <laughs>